I lost over 20 kilos and I've kept that off for 15 years and I eat the same calories now as I did then. I've also helped 1,000 people lose on average 20 kilos per person, which is about 20,000 kilograms of body fat lost over the last 10 years. Also logged 25,500 foods on my fitness pal. So I know exactly what calories are in the foods that we eat and this was helped me. I was gonna help you lose those same 20 kilos. So if you wanna lose weight without changing anything about the quantity of food that you eat, this is the video for you. So let's jump straight into it. So let's talk about it. The, my first start point of calories that I was eating per day was 2,100 calories per day. And it's kind of what I eat exactly right now. How do I know that? Well, I've tracked on my fitness pal. When I started to lose weight at the beginning, I used to track on my fitness pal. And I, like I said, I've, I've tracked over 25,000 foods and meals on my fitness pal. So I really have a really good idea about what calories are in my food. So the other thing I started to do was is that I started to exercise. I wasn't doing any exercise. And all of a sudden I started to do weight training and like I was doing hit cardio back in back in the day, which is like 15 years ago. And what was happening was I was burning about four to six hundred calories off per day according to my Fitbit, okay, whatever. But I was still burning the lot of calories off. I was also eating the same. And when you understand the overarching principle of losing body fat and body weight. You've got to be in a calorie deficit to do that. And one advantage I had, I knew what my intake was. So I kept it the same. I just kept it the same. It wasn't too crazy. I didn't really know what I was doing back then, but I just wanted to eat that amount of calories because that was comfortable for me. When I started to exercise, I lost half a kilo the first week, a kilo the second week, uh, one and a half kilos the third week. And it was like, oh my God, this is amazing. This is working really well for me. And because the reality of it is, if I'm if I'm burning about four to six hundred calories off per day through exercise, it's about two thousand to four thousand two hundred calories per week. That's a huge amount of calories, a huge amount of a deficit to be in. So therefore, I was able to lose a lot of body fat, okay, while eating exactly the same. Now, I'm not saying you can, you know, you can do this eating junk food. You can, but I'm not saying that's the best way to go. I did change my diet. I started to add more protein as well, which is really important. I want to increase my uh, protein intake as well. That has a high thermic effect. Example would be, all it means is, is that if, if I ate 100 calories of protein, 30% of those calories go to digestion. So 30 of those calories go to digestion. So therefore, it's actually taken on board into my body 70 calories, okay? So combined with exercise, then combined with more protein, same calories, I'm able to sort of really spark that metabolism, if you like, you want to call it that, and that fat burning machine starts to go crazy and start to lose a whole bunch of weight. Then the next thing that happened over the course of time, I was able to put on muscle mass. So for 15 years, okay, I'm 45 now, I started when I was 30, I put on a, probably about 10 kilos of muscle over, over that course of time. And it was slow and steady, I haven't got great genetics, it was just, you know, getting stronger, lifting heavier weights, all those sorts of things. And, and an example would be like two kilograms of muscle can increase your daily calorie burn by 40 to 60 calories per day. It's a huge amount, especially when that's around the clock, around, you know, 24-7, 365. And, and all those little things add up and I'm burning a whole bunch of calories more than I was eating exactly the same. It's really cool. There's no stress, okay, at that, that point. So when you look at those things together, you can absolutely lose weight by not changing your diet. But what you do have to understand, you have to understand how many calories you currently take in. And you've got to literally track that and not go above that. Because it is so easy to fall into the trap of, I exercise, I can eat whatever I want. But you can't, okay? Because ultimately, you eat those calories back, you can't lose weight, and you're doing a whole bunch of exercise. So that's really how I did it. And like the photograph on the thumbnail that you saw, I was super replicated. Okay? That wasn't the same calories. That was actually about... I was eating about 1200 calories to get to that level of body fat because I lost like, yeah, it was just so difficult to do. And, and the, the, the lower the body fat you have to have to go, you know, the less calories you have to eat. But what I'm saying is I grew out of that phase. I did put a little bit of extra body fat on, but I still kept that 20 kilo, that big 20 kilos off me for this whole entire time. And it was nothing crazy, guys. It literally was in calories in, calories out. It's understanding what I was currently eating, is exercising daily, and the secret to the whole thing is you've got to do this consistently every single day. It's not six weeks. It's not eight weeks. It is 365 days a year. Exercise. 
maybe have a week off, whatever, if you're, if you're sick, but you've got to do it, right? So if you found it, like, I, there's nothing sexy about this at all, right, guys? And you might think, oh, this is, this is BS. And that's cool. You could think that. But listen, I've been doing this for 15 years. I help other people do exactly the same thing. And I want to make it super easy for you. So how can you do it? Number one, you download my fitness pal. You weigh out your food, you track your food, you add your food in, see what you're currently doing right now. Never go above that calorie intake and then you start to exercise. If you ever hit a plateau though, then you can maybe reduce your calories. But I didn't really need to because I was burning so many calories off through exercise. Um, and that's helped me do that and helped me maintain my weight. So if you like the video, that's kind of it. I've got nothing else to give you. If you like the video, um, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. I know a lot of people are going to disagree with this and that's cool as well but this is the truth this is how i did it for myself and currently do it for myself and this is how i help my clients lose their weight and keep it off without super strict diets and you can absolutely eat the same as what you're doing now as long as you start to exercise on a daily basis how's it from me have a great day and i'll see you on the next video